Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is the fourth part of cleaning up this clip art. So if you didn't watch the first one, we did that, and the second one, we did this, and the third one, we did this. But this clip art is a little rough. It's got some jagged edges. So go up to here and left click. I like drawing in red just so I know it's a hairline. We need to set in some lines, and I'm going to show you why in just a second. Two-point line, and we're going to go from that node to there, and that node to there. Trying to get them, get them in line with those. Now we want to delete everything that we don't need. And at this point, you can actually go and click on your item and object break curve apart, and then you can grab them, grab more of them, just so you don't delete your other one. And there's some times there could be some trash down there. Now, we want to go ahead and take away the little lines. No, we're not. We're going to leave them there. But what we want to do, I'm going to move that indexing line out of the way for just a second, kind of in the way. We're going to clean this up. So take, take your uh, shaping tool. And if your shape tool doesn't work sometimes, it's because it's grouped together. And uh, just kind of go through there and take out the rough edges. And keep in mind, this is your, it's going to be your drawing. Uh, so you can make it the way you want. Maybe change this one to a line. Uh, we're not worried about so much that line right there. And for the video, I'm thinking that's good enough. I would maybe clean this up a little bit here. Anyway, that's good enough. Now, there are 12 of these. So one thing we want to do is uh, probably go ahead and cut, cut these lines off a little bit. Okay, now this this morning worked really well. It was pretty easy. So go control D, make a duplicate of it. Let's put our indexing line back in the center of the page. Double click on it, put your rotation in the center. Always just double check, make sure it's, it did put it in the center and it did. No, it didn't. Sometimes when you double click, if you're not on the star. Okay, there's 12 of these, so we're going to rotate it 30 degrees. We're not grouped together. So I tell you what we need to do is probably just erase. Yep. Okay, let's group these together. Control G. Control D to make a duplicate. Double click on the X and put it in the center. Double click it again. Make sure it's on the center. Rotate it 30 degrees. Control D, 60 degrees. Now Corel will keep doing it all the way around. Now, you could go through there and, and you know, delete some lines. I'm just going to say we don't need our indexing lines anymore, so we're going to get rid of them. But now, what we're going to do, we're just going to create, recreate these circles. So let's grab our... Uh, circle tool or eclipse tool put it in the center grab your pick tool so you won't make another circle and we want to just get inside we just want to get inside that first ring just by here and for the video that's good enough well let's make it a little bit smaller okay now make a duplicate of that circle control D and make it quite a bit bigger. And now we want to be on the other side of those other lines. Just a little bit. Okay. Now, this is going to take a little bit of time. But you need to delete all the lines that are on the outside of this circle. And I really wish there was a way I could pause the video so you wouldn't have to sit there and watch this.
But anyway, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to delete all these lines all the way around. Then you're going to open these up. And what's going to happen when you color fill it, grab your smart fill tool. And there's what you're going to get after you've deleted all the lines. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.